Okay, good day everyone. Welcome to today's construction class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing, Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, so for today we'll be looking into the problem on the screen. So we are applying the principle of what curved tangency. The principle of curved tangency. Alright. So the very first thing we are going to do right here is to produce uh and a thin horizontal line in this form okay after that i'm going to produce a perpendicular line to it i'm going to produce a perpendicular which is a vertical line in this manner just like this all right so after doing that what is the next procedure so our bigger circle here we have radius of what radius 40 circle of radius 40 so 40 millimeters picking my ruler and my compass i've measured what radius 40 millimeters which is this okay with my radius 40 sitting at this midpoint which is the junction i what i draw the circle i draw the circle right there okay so we have another circle in words and that is circle of diameter 40 the radius will be what radius 20 so with my ruler i measure radius what radius 20 which is this so sitting at the same midpoint i what i draw i draw in that manner all right so what is the next procedure what is the next procedure okay so towards my left hand side i have a mark of what 90 mm a mark of 90 mm from the midpoint right here so with my ruler right here okay mark of 90 mm which is right here so i'm going to project uh, a vertical line on that mark of 90 mm okay yeah a thin line actually so which is this okay having that right there having that right there so uh towards that left hand side we have uh, a circle of radius 20 okay so with my compass i measure radius 20 which is this then sitting at this midpoint i would let me draw it first of all faintly like this first okay faintly like that so after doing that uh towards the top right here from this midpoint towards the top we have mark of what mark of 60 mm so uh picking my ruler picking my ruler so mark 60 on this vertical plane which is right here okay so on that mark of 60 right there i'm going to project that with thin line horizontally which is this okay like this so that is that so then i have another uh circle there yeah mark of radius radius 20 so ensuring i maintain my radius 20 likewise sitting at this junction okay i'm going to draw this faintly faintly also radius 20 okay after drawing that so we have a mark of 45 degree yeah on this circle right here so with my 45 degree set square okay i'm going to what slide it right here to that uh, center which is this like this okay with 45 degrees i would i draw this thin line like that okay 45 degrees so that is it 45 degrees right here so what is the next procedure what's the next procedure okay so if we look very well we have a bigger arc joining this area to this area and we have that arc to be radius what radius 120 okay this particular arc it is actually an internal arc it is actually an internal arc how do i know it's an internal arc okay so uh on our website which is displayed on the screen michaellabs.com.ng yeah so we have a full tutorial course on curved tangency you know one thing if you can subscribe to this tutorial course you will be able to tackle any problem on curved tangency on your own in engineering drain any tangency related problem in engineering drain if you subscribe to that tutorial you will be able to tackle them on your own all right so don't just be this type of person that only know how to solve problem without actually uh, who just know how to uh, look at videos to do assignment or that try and understand the in-depth of what tangency actually entails so then believe you me if you can subscribe to this tutorial which is on our website www.michaellabs.com.ng you can subscribe to it right there watch we have, uh, about 30 minute explanation video and we have 15 solved problems but believe you me if you watch that explanation video because inside that explanation video we explained all the principles of tangency 
Yeah, the principle of internal arc, the principle of external arc, and the principle of tangency from uh, a straight line. Okay, so we explained everything there. So subscribe to it, and you are going to actually know how to tackle any problem on curved tangency that actually comes your way. All right, so back to what we're actually solving right here. So we are applying the principle of internal tangent. So how do I know that it is internal tangent? Don't ask me. Subscribe to the video on our website as just uh, a small price then you will understand it better okay so radius 120 minus radius 20 that is what that is 100 you'll be asking me what am i minusing how am i deducting if you want to know better subscribe to that video on our what on our website so with radius 100 100 120 minus 20 is what is 100 so with radius 100 on my compass okay I'm going to come to this midpoint, all right? So I'm going to draw this arc like this, you see, faintly, then coming to this midpoint with the same radius 100, okay? Then I'm going to what, draw this arc also faintly, all right? So I have an intersection, which is what, right here. So from that intersection, picking my compass, I measure radius what? Radius 120, which is this. Okay, radius 120, which is this. So with radius 120, sitting at this junction, comfortably okay as you can see okay i what i draw do you see it flushes perfectly it flushes perfectly okay as you can see it flushes perfectly all right so what is the next uh procedure what's the next thing to do what's the next thing to do okay so uh right at this bottom yeah we have a straight line which is tangential to this area here okay so i'm going to pick my ruler okay yeah from this area down here okay this is tangential from the midpoint there down here like this tangential to each other that way okay so i'm going to pick my pencil and my ruler okay drawing a tangent what is a tangent a straight line touching any part of uh, a circle at any point so that is it so that area is what is perfected all right so what was the next thing right there the next thing right there so if you have a very good look towards this area also you will see that this area is actually tangential to somewhere here also they are tangential to each other okay this area is tangential like this yeah so i'm going to first of all draw it with what with faint line okay faint line first of all so after drawing with the faint line right there we have a radius of what radius 15. we have radius 15. so I'm picking my uh, compass. I'm measuring radius what? Radius 15, first of all. Okay. With radius 15 right here. Radius 15 right here. So wherever this tangent touches this horizontal line here, I place my compass right there. I what? I strike my first arc like this, radius 15. So right here, this arc touching this area is actually an external tangent. So how do I deduce that it is an external tangent? If you want to know that, subscribe to the video on our website at michaelhaft.com.ng. You are going to understand it better. Okay. So because that is just the major principles in tangency, if you can deduce which one is internal, which one is external, and where to apply a uh, combination of internal, external, or combination of internal and arc on a straight line, or combination of external and arc on a straight line, then you are good to go with tangency. That's just it. So that's it. All right. So uh, radius 40 plus radius 15 that is going to be that is going to be 55 all right that is going to be 55 so with my compass i measure mark of what 55 which is this all right uh, 55 so that is 55 right there with mark 55 from this midpoint i would i strike my corresponding arc so this is the point of what Point of intersection then with my compass i measure radius 15. i measure radius 15 which is this okay with radius 15 sitting at this junction okay i what i draw can you see i draw so i make it tick once and for all so after drawing it tick so i pick my ruler and i draw that stagent i draw it out very well this time and i make it bold you understand i make it bold okay like this that's it right there that is it right there so after doing that uh, i think i can actually thicken 
my circle of radius 20 yeah i can take in that also okay so that settled right there so we come right here okay so we have an arc joining this down here so we are not given uh the actual radius for the arc so all i'm going to do is i'm going to extend my compass okay so from this mark to this mark do you see that so picking that extension so placing my compass at the mark of uh 45 degree touching my circle right here okay i what i strike my first arc do you see then with that same dimension ensure it doesn't shake place it right here i what i strike my second arc so this is the point of what intersection right here that's the point of intersection right there that point of intersection i what i i draw okay so after drawing what was the next thing to do what is the next thing to do so all i'm going to do is pick my compass okay pick that dimension of uh 20 which is this and what uh and taking this out this way taking it out this way all right so that is that about that so that is the solution to the problem on the screen so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also Refers to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.